Hi quarantine cuties, welcome back to the channel. I am in my living room this week because I wanted to try a new setup. I was kind of sick of sitting in my kitchen all the time. So I thought, why not? It's a gorgeous day as you can see outside. That's why I like being out here. I know that's probably terrible to have that blinding white light behind me, but I don't care. It's so pretty out. I tried closing the blinds, I left them open and I just prefer them open. So you're gonna have to deal with the weird lighting. I'm sure that's gonna happen in this video. I also realized that I don't really know where the the camera angle is like I don't know how to look into a camera so if you notice that I'm not very good at looking into a camera it's because I'm actually not very good at it and I have an eye that doesn't see so it's never focused so if you're always like where the hell is she looking she's never looking into my eyes I could never be an actor because I don't really see with two eyes. But today, 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 last week I perm my eyebrow hairs and as you can see they're still going very strong along with my quarantine skin. You see that? It's going very well. So I was like, hey, I really like how straight they are, but I would like them a little darker. I'd like to not ever have to pencil them in at all or do anything with them. I've been using the soap brow method to style them every day, which I think is a really great method. I'll probably show it to you at the end of this so that you can see. I'm using the product just for men in order to dye my brow hairs and I'm just realizing that like people recommend the like beard and mustache one because it's gel and I didn't dye that one. I bought it in the root. What do I know? I should I should have looked. It was the one on Amazon that was probably the cheapest. Anyhow, I'm gonna try it. It has this nice big thing so I can get a lot of uses out of it if it works so I'm pretty excited about that. It's pretty thick. It feels pretty thick. It's not quite a gel consistency, but we're gonna find out. Other things that I have at my disposal on my little workbench here that you'll need if you decide to do this, <laughs> if I even show this video, because like, what if it turns out really shitty? You know, then I'm not gonna show this video and then you'll be like, mm, it's fine. I have some spoolies in order to brush the product through my brow hairs. I have some Q-tips to clean up with. Little baby ones, my favorite type. And I have this Lauren's All Purpose Solve that I got from one of my friends that I actually really love. You can use Vaseline. I'm gonna use this All Purpose Solve. It has shea butter, coconut oil, sweet almond oil, jojoba oil, hemp oil, essential oils of lavender, patchouli, peppermint, infused burdock root, just as a barrier around the brows to make sure that I don't get dye everywhere. A lot of people just use Vaseline. I don't have any Vaseline, so this is what I've got on hand, so we're gonna use it. Then, for when the time is up on this product, when it's processed, I have a bowl of water that I put just a little bit of gentle shampoo in. It was warm, it's probably freezing now. And then a washcloth that I don't care about. So we're gonna do this whole thing and Come along with me on this journey. Now I officially can't see anything. It's much better. So I'm gonna take this giant ass mirror and comb my brow hairs. I'm gonna comb them up. I should probably put my hair back again, but whatever, it's fine. In the Just For Men package, there's some gloves. There's the product. There's a weird little comby thing that I'm not using. Whatever. Okay, so first step, I'm gonna take this Lauren's hand salve on a Q-tip. I'm going to make a barrier for the skin around my eyebrows because I don't want them dyed. I am also taking out where I put a little too much. Just making a barrier. Here we go again, just another barrier. I just don't want this shit to end up all over my face. Cool. Trying to stay in frame this time. I'm just gonna lay my hairs down. I had them up. I'm gonna lay them kind of down. I'm gonna do like a really thick barrier. I don't know if you can see how thick that is, but like, I just wanna make sure this is probably why petroleum jelly is actually better um because this is kind of melting into my skin because it's just like good skincare and not really sticking on top like a petroleum jelly would i'm not actually that worried because i'm going to do a pretty as precise as i possibly can with this because i also am not the type you know a lot of times when they tint your brow hairs they have a tendency to tint the skin underneath and i don't really like that so i'm gonna attempt not to do that who knows my entire face might be died by the end of this. So what I'm gonna do with this Just For Men, shake it up baby now, shake it up baby. I'm gonna put my mirror here. 
so that I know what I'm doing. I am going to just put a little bit of them just for men. I don't think I really need gloves. This isn't like, we're not like hopefully touching this thing. We're using things not to touch it pur purposefully, like Q-tips and such. So this feels very excessive. I'm not doing this. We're going clean hands. It's a terrible idea, I know, but this is where we're at. It's gonna smell, which is great, because then my living room's gonna smell like this for the rest of the day. Super excited about that. So this is a really thick consistency, so I'm pretty excited about that. I think it'll go on really nicely. On my plate, you can see it's a thick glob that's not really going anywhere. I'm just gonna take my spoolie brush. I put a little bit of product on my spoolie brush. I'm gonna wipe off as much as possible, and then I'm gonna comb it into the brow hairs. I'm choosing to do it like this because I don't really want it all over the skin on my face. So I'm just combing it very gently into the brow using the spoolie brush. As you can see, it's already turning dark. It's oxidizing. I think I got a, l I got a lot on my skin actually, and I'm not very pleased by that. Most of the brow hairs are covered. Okay. Now, because this side got insane, I'm going to wipe that all off. Which is the beauty of having all of that solve on my skin, is I just wipe that all off. And I'm gonna do the same under here. And again, a wipe on that side where I don't want it. And then you need plenty of Q-tips for this. I know they look a little weird right now. Don't judge me. Okay, we wipe off the skin. And now we wait. I'm going to do eight minutes. Actually, I'm gonna do five minutes of this. That's what it looks like on. I know it looks kind of uneven, so we'll see. Okay, the color that I got, I forgot to tell you guys, I got the color dark brown. I normally do black on my eyebrow hairs, so I figured a dark brown would be fine. Now we stare at the camera for the next 10 minutes. A little worried. Is it the most precise application? No, it's not. I'm sure that will matter. <laughs> this is my first time. I'm kind of feeling them just like this. I, I can't see. So you're like, don't. Shit gets weird when I have to wait more than like two minutes to do something. Actually, I am going to end up processing them for 10 minutes. It's what the package says. It says it stops coloring after 10. Uh, it's it's magic apparently it knows when to stop coloring this just for men comb in product is actually super easy to apply it, it doesn't it's not drippy it doesn't go everywhere there is enough in here for me to do my brows for the rest of my life that bead that I used earlier was probably about the size of a pea and I used maybe a third of it so I'm I'm pretty excited about that there seems to be a lot of product so if it does work it says it works for eight weeks and I won't have to buy it for at least a year if it actually lasts eight weeks. So that's pretty cool. There's no peroxide in this product and no ammonia. We're only depositing color. Okay, so my timer is done. So we hit stop. I'm gonna take my washcloth. I'm gonna put it in this cold water. It used to be warm. Like I said, there's just a little bit of shampoo in here. That's what was recommended on the internet as the best way to take this off. So I've got this nice and wet, and then I'm just gonna wipe it off. Okay. Okay. Then I'm gonna wipe the other one. I'm pressing very, very hard. I'm wiping very hard. You don't want to rub because it can agitate the hairs right out from right off your eyebrows. But I am going to rub just a little bit. I'm going to back comb it just a little bit because again, I don't really like it when it's on the skin underneath, which I know some people really like because then they're like, oh no, I definitely don't. But I just want the brow hairs to be what is tinted, not the skin underneath. It's kind of why I've avoided professional tinting is they typically do that. And I don't like that. 
I'm like, no, I think it looks fake. They never do it very accurately for me, too. So I've really avoided tinting my eyebrows for a very long time because of it. Well, I got it done a few times and I just haven't been that impressed. So that's why this was even kind of a stretch for me to do. But I was like, hey, if I can make them a little bit, the hairs themselves a little bit darker, which this appears to have worked great. There is a little bit on the skin underneath, but again, I'm not entirely mad at that because where it is on the skin underneath is really where the darkest part of my brow is anyway. So it's not like all over. I'm not roughing them up, but I am making sure that I'm getting every little bit of dye off. So I am pressing very hard and using force. <laughs> I'm using brute strength. Look, I got a lot of brow hairs too, so I'm not that concerned with some of them getting roughed up. Wow, look at that, you guys. It's super worked. Oh, I'm excited. Can you see that okay? Let me try and brighten this. Ah, uh, I am away into these. I think it looks really, really cool. Okay, okay, I'm really excited. Them brow hairs are dark brown now, and I couldn't be happier. So now that they look actually like Groucho Marx. Last week I was like, yeah, they look like Groucho Marx. But now that they're like legitimately Groucho Marx brows, I'm gonna show you guys a nifty little trick I learned on how to style your eyebrows. And I love this. I did not come up with this. It has been around forever. So the soap that I use is the Pears Translucent. As you can see, it's translucent. Light can shine through it. It's a glycerin based soap and that's really important for your brow hairs because it's translucent, transparent, it's translucent so that you can't really see it when it's on your hair. So basically all you do is I'm just gonna use a little bit of clean water that I just got and I got just the little edge wet. I'm taking a new spoolie brush and I'm rubbing it on the bar of soap. I'm not lathering it, I'm just kind of rubbing it to pick up some of the soap onto the spoolie. So you can see, this will last me forever. And then you take this and you can use it to style your brow hairs. Not only does it style them, but it also makes them a little thicker. There we go. After I straighten them, I have been doing a lot more up and over so that they're nice and straight because I did all that hard work, you all. And then what I've been doing, because sometimes I'll get a couple little bits of soap, I actually kind of lay them down with my finger afterwards and just kind of press them down a little bit. And then lay down that top one. As you can see, it's not a precise thing. It's more of where you want your brows to go. And then that brow is done done for the day. So I'm going to do the same on the other brow. Brush, brush, brush on my spoolie. Again, I'm combing them. Remember, your eyebrows are sisters, not twins. Oh, this brow. It used to be my least favorite brow. You, come on. I know all of you have one brow that you love and one brow that you hate. It is no longer my least favorite brow. It has made a total comeback in my life. The great thing about soap, washes off. And there's the finished product. As I've been saying, I like this full, thick, boy brow kind of thing. I know they're really dark right now. <laughs> I'm kind of in love with it. I, I, I like a bushy brow. I've been talking about it for weeks. I love how thick and dark these are right now. Let me put on my glasses so I can really see them. Mostly because I wear glasses. As you can see, where my glasses kind of hit are kind of right over my eyebrows. So I need a strong brow in order to make an impact, I feel like. Strong brows might not be for you, but I'm, I'm really in love with them. I think they turn out really great. This just for men is like fantastic. I didn't, I don't have any on the skin underneath my brow hairs, which I'm super excited about. I think it darkened them just enough that they're just there now. Yeah, I'm really, really into it. Look, start to finish, filming this video was only 30 minutes. And that's because I was dicking around a lot and trying to figure out how to work the camera setup. This is so great. It's so great. It took like 10 minutes. I need a facelift now. Gratuitous beauty shots. Oh my God. Look at her eyebrows. I promise never to do that again. I'm, I'm very sorry. I 
apologize to the drag community. I'm a white lady who's feeling herself and sometimes we get out of control. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Go out and get yourself some Just For Men. This shit, like honestly, I'm gonna have this for like a year as long as I screw on the cap nice and tight. It's amazing. You need so little. So yeah, again, I will link everything that I used below. If you do this, please link below and show me the pictures. I can't wait to see it. I hope that you like this video. And if you like this video, consider subscribing to my channel. Every single one of you are queens. I love you all. I hope you're all staying safe in quarantine. For those of you who are in states that are opening back up, continue to stay safe. You use your face mask, still practice social distancing. Thanks so much for watching. Look at those brows, guys. Oh, I'm amped.